Hi, I'm Maggie Weldon, owner of Maggie's Crochet. I'm very proud to say that maggiescrochet.com is the largest all crochet site online with thousands of crochet patterns and hundreds of them are free. I've been crocheting for over 40 years and I've been designing for over 30. So I'm hoping that through these videos I can help you to master the art of crochet. So pick up your hook and your yarn and let's get started. Okay, this is the Pinwheel Rose Afghan, and the pattern for this Afghan is in the Best of Maggie Weldon Crochet Afghans, which is was published by Leisure Arts several years ago. And this pattern looks like this, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Pinwheel Rose. I'm going to set this off to the side. So I'm just going to show you the rose part of it, and this book is available, The Best of Maggie Weldon Afghans, from maggiescrochet.com. So in the directions it says to chain six, three, four, five, six, and join with slip stitch to form a ring. So that means that you slip stitch in that your first chain, and you draw that through there. And the whole time I'm working these petals, I'm going to work it over the end of my starting chain so that I can draw it in at the end as tight, uh, to close up that hole because it gets quite big. So then to make the first petal, you chain three and that counts as a double crochet now and throughout. So then you put three double crochets into the ring and I'm working over the end of my starting chain. There's that, and then you chain three turn. One, two, three, that's gonna count as a double two. You don't work in this double, unless you were increasing, but we're not increasing, so you skip that one. And then they want you to do three more doubles. So you do this. Okay. Then you go one, two, three, four, and you turn, and this stays in back of your first petal, and you go ahead and you work four more, it's going to make this curl, but you're going to work four more double crochets, you're going to start your second petal with four double crochets into the ring. So your first petal's made, you're just going to have the strand behind there. And the pattern actually calls for worsted weight yarn, but I'm using a bulky weight yarn just so you can see better. Okay, then you do one, two, three to turn. There's two rows for each petal. You don't work in that one. You work in these three. Okay, then you do one, two, three, four, you turn it like you normally would, and you're going to leave this in the back, and I'm still working over the end for my starting chain, and I'm going to do the third petal. This is a beautiful afghan when you're doing all these different colors, all the different baby colors. Okay, one, two, three, and then you don't work in here, you do three, three doubles, this is a new skein, so it wants to pull over here, instead of pulling out through the center, whenever you start a new skein, pull out from the middle, it's easier. Okay, I'm going to turn, and this is going behind. I gotta keep moving these around. It's kind of a tight fit because there's eight petals worked into the chain six. Two, three, four. And each petal, each of the eight petals has four double crochets. So you're gonna have you're gonna land up with 32 double crochets here. Two, three, turn. You don't work in this one. Do one, two, three. OK, 
say one, two, three, four. Okay, I've got half the petals done. It'll definitely look a lot dainier when you do it in a smaller yarn. But okay, I'm going into the ring again. It looks like a pinwheel because of the way it just kind of slightly curves. So that's why it's called a pinwheel rose afghan. Three. We're going in here. One, two, three, four. five done. So these can be, it's real tight in here now, but you can just keep sliding them around on the, the uh, beginning ring. So I've got one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. Don't work in this one, work in the other three. One, two, three, four, and that's the strand that goes behind. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I still gotta get two more in there. I can do it. It's gonna be tight, but one, two, Two, three, and turn. And one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, let me see. I think I got one more to do. One, two, four, six, seven. Okay, let me get them in there. I don't think it'll be this tight when you're working with worst of weight yarn. Okay, probably didn't need to work over that turning chain either. I mean over that um, starting chain because I don't think I'll be able to pull it. Okay, here's the four, the last four. Whew, it's tight. Okay, one, two, three to turn. One, two, Three, one, two, three, four. Okay, now this would go down to, it says, join with a slip stitch, do first double crochet of first petal. So your first double crochet, if you remember when it said chain three counts as your first double crochet, so that's where they want you to slip stitch to. So this is back here on my first petal where I did a chain three. Well, the top of that chain three is my first double crochet. So I slip stitch to that and that completes the round right there. Look at that thing, it's really cute. All right, then. The reason why I did the, I'm going to cut this off here. And to cut it off, what I do, if I'm going to sew it in right away, I would just cut this and pull this up and sew it in. But since I probably wouldn't sew this in right away, because I do several flowers and then sew, sew them all in at one time, I'm just going to do a slip stitch. It's not going to hurt anything. It's not going to show. And... I would I cut back here and that gives me enough length to put that yarn on a needle and the reason why I did I worked over the starting chain is because I always like to do that and because I can close that hole up just a little because it's already so tight but on some other projects 
You don't want that hole in the middle, so if you work over the end of your starting chain, then you can use that as like a drawstring and then um, secure that right here so it won't pull out. So round two gets worked in these um, loops, these chain four loops that are behind the petals. But isn't that adorable, the way that turns out? You can just imagine, let me see, I have a little piece of orange here. If you did like a little center on this thing, it would be so cute, like a little fall flower. It'd be so adorable. So anyway, um, so the pattern is done with the pinwheel roses in the middle, and then there's a uh, granny square starts um, off every other petal as a corner like of a granny square. And then that would be round, let's show you right here. So round two would be the green, and then round three and four is definitely granny square in there. And then it looks like there's a round of, well that might be single crochet around the whole thing. I don't know, yeah there's a round of single crochet around each square. And then it's sewn together, and I sewed it together with the, the uh, back ridges so that I had the front ridges making a nice little frame. And then there's a loop border. So it's a really cute design, and that's available at maggiescrochet.com.